China's first space lab, Tiangong-1, or Heavenly Palace-1, was launched in 2011 as a facility for testing docking capabilities with other Chinese spacecraft and to explore the possibilities for building a larger, permanent space station by 2023. Chinese astronauts visited it several times, flying aboard the Shenzhou spacecraft. It was scheduled for a controlled deorbit and eventual crash into the Pacific Ocean, but in September 2016, China's space agency conceded it had lost contact with the station. The head of the European Space Agency's Space Debris Office, Holger Craig, says the eight and a half ton craft will re enter the atmosphere at a speed of 27,000 kilometers per hour. It is basically the upper atmosphere and the atmosphere density that will produce a drag uh, that will eventually bring down the station. And that drag is very, very hard to understand and to predict because the, the atmosphere and that altitude. 200 kilometer, that's where the station is at the moment, is extremely hard to describe uh, in a physical way, and that's that causing the difficulty. Craig says the spacecraft will burn out somewhere between the 43rd northern and southern parallels. But he says uncontrolled re-entries happen all the time. The risk, though, on ground is still very low. Um, there have been 13,000 tons of space hardware coming down in the whole history of spaceflight, and there's no single reported casualty. The re-entry area covers huge parts of the Earth's oceans, so any surviving pieces of the old space station are most likely to end up at the bottom of the sea. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.